Hello everyone, welcome to another segment of my Let's Build. Uh, for those of you who want to skip past the build and go to the end of this video that shows the tour, click on this link here. And for those of you who are sticking around, I have um, a little different video for you today. Um, I've gotten a lot of feedback from you, which is great. I love hearing uh, what you guys want to see and what helps you with your build. And I've had a few people ask me to do kind of like a real-time build of just a, a building here. Um, and even show like me decorating uh, one of my areas or whatever. So I'm going to do that. Um, it's going to be mostly decorating because that takes the longest. Um, that's why I never really film it, just because it's really repetitive. But um, it does help seeing kind of, you know, getting around certain limitations of this. So, um, and also, so this is just going to be a house, kind of like a traditional looking home instead of like a scrappy looking building, kind of like that one there. Uh, I figured since we have, you know, I'm, I'm going to use concrete, wood, and like the barn structure. And I figured since we have more stuff, I might start making, you know, the buildings look a little bit nicer instead of just kind of run down. But um, I could probably just be building while I'm rambling on. Um, so I'm just going to put the floor in. And you can build this just about anywhere. It doesn't have to be here. I'm just using this because it's the only space available. And was that three by three? Yeah, okay. And then, oh no, four. I'm going to do... Use the foundation on the outside just to make it look like a porch or patio or deck, whatever you want to call it. One of those. And... So again, I'm going to switch between concrete, wood, and the barn. Um, and so, I don't know if you guys remember this. This is from my Starlight Drive-In, where I kind of build in a, kind of like a little porch area here. Do it one more this way. There we go. <clears throat> ah, son of a bitch. Hang on. I want to do a window there. Let's see. And there we go. Window here too. All right. So yeah, that way it gives it kind of like a little walkway. I don't, I don't know. I don't really like seeing, you know, with the walls like back over here in this huge area. It just doesn't look as, I don't know, realistic for me. But whatever. I'm picky, so let's see. Um, oh, okay, so yeah, I'm going to do, I don't, before, whenever I was building, I never really stacked up pieces like I'm about to do here. Um, so if you're like me and just never wanted to fool with it because it seemed pretty difficult, it's really not that hard. You, you really get used to it and it kind of helps out with making your structures look different than just what they kind of expect of you. Um, and I'll show you what I'm talking about in just a second. Let me just line this up. And... That looks good. Okay. Doesn't have to be perfect. Just close. So, and this is just temporary. Um, I'm doing this because I wanted to put a roof up. And I know it was... So whenever I put this down, see how it's going to be flush with the, uh, the cement wall there. If I do this, it's a little bit higher. See, it's wanting to snap to the lower one, but I can raise it up just by looking up. Or I should be able to. There it is. And then do one more. So instead of uh, snapping to the floor, it's snapping to the wall. And the reason why I'm doing this is because now it's a little bit higher. And I want one of these. Which one? Yeah, that one looks good. Okay. Here we are. And there we are. Okay, so I need that. You can really just get rid of all this because you don't need it anymore. But it just helps getting that roof in. And now it kind of has like a little... Yeah, that looks pretty cool. Um, so... I don't want it to be all concrete down at the bottom. So let's put one of these in. Oh. All right, so you see, doing this too, you, you kind of have to change the way you build, like your build order, um, because this wooden wall, I want it to be right here with the concrete, and it won't do that because of where it wants to snap. So I have to put in, where's my 
concrete wall. Put this in. Don't be a bitch. Okay. Showing off. There it is. And so now the wall is going to snap to this concrete wall here. There we go. I'm going to do, I'll probably just keep that there. It looks good. Do the same thing on this side here. Try to go through this pretty quickly because I have an idea, but it's just it's gonna be me figuring out how I'm gonna do it um, in real time. So hopefully it won't take too long for me to do this. It looks good, and let's do this. And just changing up the the walls here because I know I'm gonna want to decorate, and these ones are much easier to decorate on. Put that there. And, okay, so yeah, here, um, I think we're gonna try building a chimney or something? Oh no, um, a fireplace. Th there's a user on Reddit who, who kind of sent me the link and had the idea, and I told him that I was gonna uh, use it <laughs> and just reference him, but I could not find his name for the life of me. I could not remember what it was, and then I went through all my comments and I couldn't find it. So, um, if I do find who it was, I will add it later on in the video, like an annotation or something. But yeah, it's totally his idea, and I told him I'm, I'm gonna take it, so. Um, anyway, if it's you, just let me know, and I will, I'll give you the credit, because it is a really cool idea. Um, hopefully I can make it work. Okay. Um, now we just made a hole in the wall, but I think, okay, I'll come back to that in just a second. I think I know what I need to do to make it look more like a fireplace. And let's put some stairs in. Let's put them in the corner. Okay. I'm a bit nervous doing this in real time because I know I'm going to screw up or completely waste some time putting things up that doesn't usually work. But it's okay. You get to see me struggle, right? That should be fun. Put all this up. Okay. Um, so we're gonna use the barn up top because I haven't really messed with it too much, but I did see like we have a few. I know the walls are a lot larger than the other ones, like the wood and all the you know concrete metal and all that. So put that one there with the little window. Um, I think I want to do. Let's see. Let's do these. Those snap. Yeah, look at that. I thought the roof was gonna get in my way, but I guess not. Okay. Put that there. That looks good. In each corner. Um, and here we go. I kinda I don't really change up the barn too much because they they don't look too repetitive. See I'm using the same one, but they actually look pretty yeah, it doesn't look weird at all, so. Thankfully for that, let's put this. Yeah, I get a weird angle. Okay. Okay. Now a roof. Um. Yeah, let's do this one. And that one. I don't want it to be too messed up. Let's just do that. And that one. All right, let's see how that's looking. Let's just see. Pretty cool. Yeah, a lot. It, is, it looks kind of disconnected right now, but we'll fix that. It looks, you know, like barn and concrete, but we'll fix that in a little bit. Um, what kind of roof should go there? What do we got? Nope. 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 Oh, that one could work. Yeah. Nope. Getting there. Not that way. This way. Okay. Be a little pain in my ass. Put this one. Do it! 
I guess it won't snap. Okay, so it looks like... Alright, let me just do... This. One good thing that I'm, I'm kind of learning is noticing what snaps to what. Um, that's helped me with building a good little bit. Oh, there we go. Okay. Is that the right way? No, it's still not. Okay, th there it is. So it looks like this part snaps to these walls. And it, so that's why I couldn't put this one here because it wouldn't snap to the roof or to this other roof. It has to snap to the wall, um, which has worked out, I guess. Let me just make sure it looks good. Or oh, I did all that for nothing. Put that, get that back in there. Right there. Let's see if that roof looks good. And it does. It's kind of sticking out a little weird, but whatever. It looks pretty cool. Gives it some, some texture to it. Yeah. Oh, let's fix the outside first while I'm here. Um, let's put the stairs. There we go. They're hovering a little bit, but you get the idea. I'm not too picky on this build just because I kind of, I just want to show you this type of structure and see if it comes out pretty cool. And this one. Change it up, change it up. That one. And sure. And then I think that we have like some kind of post or something with the barn. If I remember correctly. Down the doors, stairs, roof. Miscellaneous, maybe? Oh, yep, yeah, here they are. Okay. Um, let's put these in. Like right here. Will you go? Maybe. Is that close? No, it's not close at all. There we go. Okay. It's sticking up a little bit, but I don't really care. It looks it looks cool. It works. Okay. That's pretty close. There. Alright, and then maybe on the side right here. No. Right there. Fine. We'll do this side. Come back to that one. Oh. All right, so it looks like it snaps in with that railing, which that looks fine. Okay, so let's just do that. Let's switch these. You go there. Go ahead and put this up. Okay. And do... These? Yeah, that looks different. And look at that. That's awesome. See, it ties in with these posts. It brings in the color up here from the barn, and then it kind of pieces it all together. So it doesn't look too disconnected. It actually looks more... Yeah. And then, okay, let me finish up the, uh, the chimney over here. I hope this turns out pretty cool. It was a good idea. He had it, like, all drawn out and everything. I was like, yeah, no shit. That's a good, good idea, man. And now, of course, it's starting to rain. So, yeah, uh, we got a, a lot of stuff for Fallout recently. The uh, the mods I'm starting to use, um, not a lot, but just for videos like this. I've downloaded the... Oh, my God. The... Where is it? This one. The cheap menu. And it just helps with the weather and all that. I'm not going to do too many of the mods, I don't think, but... <clears throat> um, change the weather. Clear it up. Look at that. God, I just love it so much. Thank you. It would have been so much time just trying to get this to sunny skies. And I also use the um, the materials, um, where it's like unlimited materials for building, because right now I have the Honest Dan glitch, where it's like you don't finish that mission that's like human error or whatever it is, and uh, you can just constantly get a bunch of caps from him so he funds like all of my builds <laughs> I just go back to him just do that glitch over and over again and get like 300 caps each time um, I talk to him and then uh, I'll just go buy a bunch of shipments or whatever um, that's sticking out a little bit isn't it yeah it's sticking out I don't like that so let's bring this in bring this one in And then I'll just have to use one of these. No. 
Oh. Okay, I guess that, that was working. And there you go. Push that in. So this is just working okay. Alright. Let's get that out of the way. Okay. And oh, fix this side. There you go. Now it's right there against the wall or the the house. Look at that nice little chimney. And how's this looking? Yeah, pretty cool. Not too bad. And then let me just fix this part. So I'm just gonna put this on the inside, as flush as I can. There we go. And then put this wall back. Really come together. Cool. So with this part, I'm going to, let's just go ahead and put this in. Um, the fire pit, the campfire. Can I go back a little bit? No, I need to bring it in. Okay. Come on. Come on. Oh, there it is. Okay. Yeah, that's pretty cool. All right, so I need to cover this up. So let's do... Um, I did this before, kind of. Uh, I used these floors. Where is it? This one. Okay, this is just in the way now. This floor. Okay. So I'm using that for the line, and then I'm going to get in the stairs here and line that up so that way I can see that it's directly in the middle. Um, nope, nope, that one. Okay, line it up. Doesn't have to be perfect for this one. You just need one of these and see if it will snap in and it won't. So I'll just bring that out. Boom. Nope. Maybe it's too close. This thing is being a pain in the ass. We'll just scoot it out. There we go. Um, and you want it to be flush. Uh, it's pretty close. We'll, we'll fix it because this is just like the, the bottom layer because we don't want the wall to start right there. We probably want it like up here maybe. So I'm going to scoot this out a little bit and then do this again. And we just place this right on top of the first one. You just want to make sure it's a little bit, a little bit correct. There we go. I think that looks good. Snap to that one. Okay. Okay, that's looking good. And now we can bring in this one. So this is probably where we're going to have it because that's still a little low. Get rid of these floors. And... So you want, this is the one that you want to be a little picky with, because it's going to be the one that we're going to work with. So, let's see if this works. No. Right, right to where I'm pointing. Right there. Just snap. No! There it is. Okay, let's see how that looks. Nice. It's not 100%, but it's pretty close. Actually, that's gonna drive me crazy. It's a little crooked. Okay, almost had it on the first try. Almost, let's just fix it. There we go, okay. So get around there. Okay, and that should be, yes, looks awesome. So now you can just scrap all this crap because we don't need it anymore. Bye, goodbye, 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 goodbye. And now, what we're going to do is, um, did all this a little quick. So this, I'm going to bring it up and have it snap to this four piece. That way I can have, look at that, there we go. And then I'll just bring this back down. Back down. 
Awesome. Okay. And now let's put in this again. See, if something like, like this, it doesn't look like it's going, just spin it around and usually it will light up green and you'll be able to... Come on, there it is. There we go. And now I can put in the floor back and that should complete this part. Mm, there we go. Look at that. Fucking awesome. And you probably could even take out... Let's get this out of the way. Get, take that out. And now you have a chimney. Okay, cool. Now let's just see. I had to pull this one part out. So, yeah, that's fine. I'll have to do it up there, too. There we go. And it adds a little texture to it. So, yeah. Okay, so there we go. And now I think it's ready for decorating. So that, that was pretty quick. And it came out pretty cool. Um... Just make sure nothing looks weird. Nope. Okay. Love it. Let's continue. So I had just filmed myself decorating this, and uh, I didn't realize how long it took. It was like an hour and a half long. So I figured that I would do a separate video on solely decorations and not an actual build. Um, but at least I will go through kind of what I did and some pointers... Um, on, on how I decorated this, just to, just to help you guys out, since you have been asking for it. Um, I just didn't want to post an, an hour and a half long video. No one would want to watch and listen to me talk over and over um, through that. So, I started out with this little area over here. Um, I didn't do a lot of the junk around here, which I probably will do more. Um, but starting out, what helps me because this was, you know, a wide open space. If you put up walls, because these will just go into the, like underneath the roof, just fine. This usually don't give you any trouble. Like, um, let's go to it right here. As long as there's nothing in its way, it, it will pretty much be placed wherever you want it to. Um, so that I've placed the wall here and that way it's sectioned off the room. So it's like kind of like a living area um, and then kind of like, you know, a, cooking, eating area, or whatever. So, the walls help out a lot, and that way, cause as soon as I put this wall here, I saw, I'm like, alright, let me put this up, the Nuka-Cola machine, and then just kind of piece everything else around it. Um, and also, the large area rugs, just because this was the first thing I laid down, because I'm like, okay, I want to put the living area right here. Uh, and then so TV in the corner and all that and just kind of built around the TV like everything's facing that So it's just like how you know, you look around your room around your house, whatever and it's kind of like how do you have things decorated? Um, and same thing back here. It's just I didn't want to put too much on this side of the wall so I just kind of put this decorative little piece and uh, same thing over here, so with the stairs I used the rug glitch squeeze this in um, that's how I got that back there, and then I put up these walls. They're very forgiving, so uh, even with this back there, the walls still snapped up. Or well, they didn't they didn't snap, but they were they just were placed. <laughs> um, it but it worked fine. Same thing over here. Um, the wall on this side, and I sectioned off. I always sectioned off my stairs instead of just having a staircase up like that. Um, I always put a wall around it just to kind of make it look a little more realistic. And, you know, stacking these, the way that I kind of, like, the idea that I try to keep is that, you know, it's it's the apocalypse, so people are probably storing a bunch of shit that they're collecting as they are scavenging around, and so they need place to put all that. So I, that's why I always have some kind of boxes around. Um, and so, and, and you can stack them up like this. You know, you just don't want to have them perfectly straight and aligned with each other, otherwise it won't look too real. Um, and also with the lighting, even though I have this here, I still like to change up, put like the oil lamp and the candles, just because they add in a lot to this particular room, like right here. If this wasn't here, this would be kind of dull and dim. Same thing in this corner. And you don't want to use candles and candles all, all over the place. You want to you, you want to change them up. It's the same concept as building structures. So like over here, I have candles 
and over here I have a lamp. So it's not, the whole place is filled with candles. It looks like some kind of witchcraft is going on. It's just, you know, it's tastefully put it, you know, added in there. Um, and the same, so I kind of use the same concept with, you know, this little workshop area. On this side, see, it, it looks very similar, but it still looks different to where it's not like, hey, it's, that's just the same shit over and over again. Um, you still can stack box differently, different types of boxes. Um, you can add in different decorations here from like your junk menu. Um, but even though it's very similar, it still kind of stands out. Um, and I really, I think upstairs, oop, 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 oop. upstairs there was a lot that I have done um, as far as hanging stuff on the wall. The barn, it makes these buoys look pretty awesome, and they, they just work well. Um, because they add in some color to it, because it is a very like bland-looking room without it. So adding in like little signs here and there, nothing too much. You don't want it to be too cluttered, but just tastefully added in. You'll know. like If you place something down and it looks stupid, you're, you will know that it looks stupid, and then you can, you can move it or just scrap it and get rid of it. Um, and but the same thing here, like I took this from Bethesda, like how they had their little boxes at the end of the beds, and then I just changed them up. So this one has a different one, that one's the same as this, but they're far enough away from each other where you can't really tell. And same thing with this box here, it just looks, you know, it's, you don't want, you want it to be evenly spaced out, if that makes sense. Like I don't, I don't want this big ass box right here, because when I come up the stairs, it would just be a, a huge box and it would look weird look different um, and last thing that I'm gonna show you on this one again I will have a full decorations video where it shows me doing this but this was probably um, one that you needed to see um, I wanted to have the, the filing cabinets next to this but these things are a pain in the ass because they don't like getting close to anything so what I had to do was pull this rug out and I didn't have this on, I had this over here. And I didn't have a chair. And so I put the rug down first, this little smaller mat, and then I placed the filing cabinet on top, which I might even have it closer, so you don't really see the, the mat too much. And I, I did it for this side too. So I've stacked this here, and then you, you can squeeze this in. This one, the actual desk is way more forgiving than the filing cabinets. And then I just pushed it in, just like this. Up against the wall, you don't want to go too far. See how that, the wood underneath the desk, there we go. And there you have it. And so you probably wouldn't have noticed the mats if I didn't point it out to you because it kind of blends in a little bit. I'll sketch you back over there. My pop of color, because that was really bland and all gray or silver, whatever you call it. So it, that little splash of color kind of adds more character to it. And same thing too. See how I have candles over here and then an oil lamp on this side. So if I'm looking in this direction, you know, it, it's not the same on both sides. It's, it's kind of, you know, nothing really pulls your eye to it. Like that stands out or that stands out. It just kind of all blends together to make it look a little more realistic. So I hope that helps guys. I do appreciate you stopping by. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. Again, I really love and please give this video a like, subscribe to my channel, and have a good one.